Hey guy, uh, I'm from uh, Alabama, and uh, I was actually born in Birmingham, Alabama, and uh, grown up, lived there uh, my whole life. Actually, in a small town called Platt, and uh, lived there. I'm 24 now, so lived there all my life. I played college football at Louisiana Tech, and uh, came up here right after that. So now I'm here. Um, well, my family. Uh, very strong Christian mom and dad. Um, you know, my dad's actually a pastor, and uh, he's, uh, I mean, they've just been awesome for me, you know, and that's where it all starts, you know, with, with your parents. And if you don't have a strong base, uh, don't have a strong foundation, you can't, you can't go anywhere, and uh, it's always going to be slippery. So, uh, you know, uh, it started there with me, you know, and, and, you know, my dad raised me, right, disciplining me when I wasn't, you know, whatever, and, you know, he just did an awesome job doing it. Um, you know, my mom was there to, 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 to provide the mercy side, you know, and I, you know, to kind of take care of me when I, you know, whatever. So, yeah. um, uh, church, my church is awesome. We've got a strong uh, spiritual background, very, very biblically based. And, um, you know, that's what you have to have in church. It has to be a biblically based church. And, you know, um, you know, music and everything and all the programs are great. But if you're not, if you're not preaching out of the Word and you're not constantly in the Word, then it can't be a strong, uh, strong church either. That's kind of where I'm at in, uh, back home. Yeah. You know, in, uh, in obviously in high school and college also, you know, you, you have a, uh, you know, path is narrow of Christians. So you have a lot of lost people. And, um, you know, as athletes sometimes, you put on some sort of pedestal where you have the opportunity to be a witness to people. And, um, you know, luckily and thankfully, I've been able to, to do that somewhat. And, um, you know, it's been, and for many people say, well, is it hard to, to be a Christian? Is it hard to, uh, to to live a pure life and whatnot? And, and, uh, and, and at times, yeah, sure, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's not an easy road. But in reality, you know, if you're, you're, trusting, you're trusting God and you made the decision when you were younger to say, hey, I'm going to do this, I'm going to live for you, God, and, and, and that, you know, that's what I want to do. And um, when you make those decisions when you're young and you, you follow through them when you're older, it, it becomes just a... Uh, just how you live your life, and uh, so that was a big thing for me. Just you know, constantly realizing that you're constantly people are always going to look out here that you're a Christian. They're always going to watch you. You know, so let's we'll see how he acts. See if he messes up. You know, so you just have to realize that as a player and as a person in general. Uh, you know, not, I don't think so. Not necessarily. You know, I think that uh, you know, you uh, in every everything you do in life, you're going to have you know, you're going to have obstacles. And, um, you know, in a job, you, you're going to have people that, that don't like you being a Christian or they don't, they, you know, they think, you know, they think that there's something different about you they don't like or there's a different other they do like and they don't know. But, uh, you know, it's hard being a Christian in general because it's not an easy road. If it was, uh, you know, if it was easy, if it was easy to do, then, uh, then people would just... Oh, I'm a Christian, I can do, you know, whatever, but, you know, giving your life up and, uh, and being a slave to Christ is hard for people to, to, come, to come to realize, you know, like, no, I'm not going to do that, you know, and uh, I think sometimes it's harder for athletes because a lot of guys are strong-willed and they don't want to, you know, bend the knee, and that's hard for anybody, that's hard for me to do, but, uh, you know, you realize that uh, God is your creator and uh, he's your provider and that, you know, nothing in life, nothing in life is worth living life and just doing it, you know, um, God is what's worth it, God and Jesus Christ is what makes life worth it, you know, and so, um, for me, it's just a constant, every day, bending of the knee and saying, okay, God, what do you have for me, if it's, you know, if I'm doing something, about, you know, I should be doing that, I need to get, you know, get, go in a different direction, you know, so, uh, but it's been awesome for me, you know, it's been, it's been a, a eye-opening experience playing professional football and being, you know, a Christian at the same time, and, and I've just enjoyed every bit of it. Uh, you know, I, I, honestly, there, there, there uh, I don't know necessarily there's persecution as much as, uh, you know, I think uh, you're always going to have some people that, you know, necessarily agree with you, you know, and that's, and you, and you, and you have to have that because people have a free will and that, that's their choice to disagree with you and I wouldn't take that away from anybody. Um, but I think a lot of times people, you know, because they're Christians, they get kind of uh, haughty, they get a little prideful, like, oh, I'm a Christian, I don't do it. You know, right? You know, but that, and that's just not how we're meant to be. And uh, Jesus Christ didn't didn't uh, die for us, and didn't um, you 
and it provides his work for us, just for us to be like that. And, uh, you know, I think it's a matter of listening to other people when they talk, being respectful, and not that, not agreeing with them, everything they say, but being respectful and saying, okay, I see what you're saying, now let me let me tell you how I feel about it. And um, I've had a lot of conversations with guys that are not believers, and, uh, you know, but they're always respectful for the most part, and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's been... Uh, a lot of the guys have been very respectful, no no problems like that in that way. But you know, like it says, it says in the Bible, if you do, you persecute for, for what you believe and you know, consider it a joy, you know. So, um, but I've never had to really worry about that too bad, uh, you know, here and there, you know, now and then. But you know, um, it's been it's been great for me to be able to provide us some sort of witness on the team, and uh, and I, I you know thank for every minute of it. Well, I think you, you live out your faith by, uh, by constantly being in the Word and realizing, you know, you're not you're not going out there to to try to show everybody how to be a Christian or, or you know, what they need to do. You, you're you're you live your life and uh, you're, you're you're bold and courageous on what you say and how you say stuff, but at the same time you're respectful of everybody and realizing that there's no difference between you and everybody else. You just accept the gift and other people have it. And, um, you know, I think when people realize that, 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 uh, that it's our job to, to live a life of purity, and that if people, people see that as a difference. They say, well, why are you a virgin? Or why are you, why don't you go out and drink? Or why don't you do this? Why don't you, you know, get with these people? You know, and, and then you, then they realize that there's something different about you. What is it? And then you have our opportunity to say, well, this is why. You know, I'm not here to cram Christianity on their throat. That's not my job. You know, my job is to live as God told me to live um, and be a witness through my life. And then when I'm approached with a question that, you know, contradicts my faith or, or, or says something, then I speak up. Mm -hmm. And if not, then, uh, you know, they, they know. They know there's a difference. And so, um, you know, that's why, you you know, you respond to me and say, hey, here's one. You know, so it's, it's, a, it's a cool thing, man. It's a cool opportunity to be in. And I want to change it. Yeah, you know, that's, that's, that's interesting. Um, you know, you, it's hard sometimes, like, well, you know, we play, we play Friday, Saturday, Sunday, sometimes you get able to go to church, sometimes you're not. Um, but, you know, I just look at it like, you know, this is my this is my witness for them, and I'm not, you know, going to just leave and um, not have the opportunity to do that. You know, and I think you have more witness when you're uh, in Boston than you do when you're not. And so, um, you know, I think that's a big, uh, a, bi a big deal. You know, you have church, going to church is great, we get and I, and I love going to church, we should go to church. Um, if I had the opportunity to witness to lost people on, on Sunday and I'm not in church, then that's that's better, you know. So uh, that, that's how I see it, you know. It's, it's just, you know, and it's my job too, and I have a responsibility to them and, uh, and to myself to, to be able to take care of my wife and my family, and, and so um, you know that's a responsibility that, that I've been given, so I have to do that. So you know, it's it's, it's kind of different, but you know, it's you have to you have to look at it in that light. That's that's uh, it's pretty interesting because you know, our human nature is selfish, and we want to be selfish, and uh, I'm selfish, and uh, but you have to constantly, I think you have to constantly die to yourself every day, and bend your knees, say, okay, God, I'm nothing, you're everything, you, you be more, you be more than me, and um, and when you do that, I think you you do that yeah, every single day, um, you realize, you know.